Hello and welcome to uh, MySQL tutorial number three. Um, in the last tutorial we um, talked about how to insert data uh, into a database. Uh, well this tutorial we're going to retrieve this data and display it um, as HTML. So let's move straight on. Let's pop over to um, PHP MyAdmin mean, first of all. And if you watched the last tutorial you noticed that I inserted um, this one into the guestbook um, database or the uh, table shall I say and I just inserted this John Smith one as well so we have two ok so let's move over to PSPAD we have our connection here so what we need to do first of all is because we have information already in there um, we pretty much just want to um, display this data uh, well the first thing that we need to do is basically have a query and we say MySQL uh, query and select everything from uh, guestbook Okay, where um, that's that's basically it. We could on here say where uh, name is equal to um, David. Okay, so that would only select one ID. Um, but we're not going to. But actually, we'll select a thing from guestbook, and we'll order um, by ID. Yeah, and we'll do. Um, it's descending, so it's going to put in. It's going to display the the last one that's just been put in first. Okay, um, or we could use the dates, but ID is normally the best because uh, anyway, I think you got the idea. Confusing myself here. Okay, so what we can do as well is we can select um, number of rows. Um, so if there's nothing, it's not going to do anything, and if there's more than one row with inside the database, then it will display something. So what we're going to say is num rows equals mysql num row num rows and then all we've got to do in here is say query okay because this is the query that it's going to be using um, so now from here if we say if num rows is more than uh, zero then do this else we're just going to say echo nope we're going to say echo um, there are no entries within this this database yet. Okay, so within the side here, um, the first thing that we need to do is basically make a while loop. Okay, because it needs to read every single line um, that we've got in there. Okay, it needs to read every single row. Sorry, I'm a bit tongue-tied. And what we say is row is equal or equals and then we can use another uh, mysql function sorry mysql fetch associates now we could use mysql fetch array um, but i'm happy just to use mysql fetch associates so okay now what's happening is is all of the um, the fields within inside that row are now gone into this array of row so we can reference them by or either numbers or just um, by the actual field name so you've got the key or the actual name and so what we're going to do is we're just going to say echo um, okay so we've got um, row and name um, okay so we're just going to say echo row name and then we'll bang a break on there. And then, yes, so I'm just getting a bit confused what I want to do. Um, surname, and then we'll just bang a break on there. And let's just copy this. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. So next we have, well, we have the email. Next we have the website. And then we have the comments, which we'll get back to in a second. And then we had the uh, uh, dates. And we had the time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, well, we had the ID, so we don't need to display the ID, alright? Because it's, it's just not needed. And we can get rid of that because that's not needed either. Okie dokie, so now that's all going to be displaying. Um, out onto the page. Um, anything else? No, that's pretty much it. And as you can see here, as we've got row the array, 
and inside of it we're saying basically the um, the row name or the, the column name sorry should I say so we're just looking at this row first of all and then selecting David then selecting Thorn then this one then this one then this one then this one and when that's finished it's going to then go on to the next one and select all this information all right and what we'll do is we'll just chuck a HR tag in that as well so control S to save and come to um, localhost with fingers crossed my school of is not available. What have I done wrong here? Uh huh. Oh, I'm just going to find the error. Okay, silly mistake that I made is I put my squirrel fetch associate and didn't put um, the query down. So that's pretty much it. Um, and oh, it's silly. Okay, so yeah, they, I, I couldn't believe I'd done that then. Okay, so order by ID, descending, and then number rows equals MySQL num rows. Num rows is more than zero. Row equals MySQL fetch associate, and obviously the query because it needs to know what it's looking for. And then it echoes out all the information. Come to here, refresh, and as you can see, it echoes out um, this one here first because it's the the most recent one that's gone into the database and then it echoes out this information here now okay with this thank you for viewing my website blah 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 we have line breaks with inside the um, the database so we want this to be exactly the same way it's been put in so all we simply do is we come to the comments and we basically say new line to break okay not M let's fix that new line to break and that will basically, if we just refresh this, it will then put all uh, the information exactly the same way that it's been put in on the comments field on the guestbook as such. Okay, so that's pretty much it done. Um, if we wanted to um, basically only display one, so guestbook, and we'll just say uh, limit one. So it's another thing you can learn today. So it'll only bring out one basically that's it if we want to uh, where uh, name equals uh, David's and we can it will bring out that one as well and then just to clarify this to you that it works name equals John we can change it okay so and we can select um, just a couple of things here as well. A star basically means selects absolutely everything. Uh, I like to use the star and then when I come down to my while loop I then decide uh, what I want to extract because maybe at a later date um, I want to basically extract more or less. So by using this way it's down to me to decide what I want to extract from it. Okay, uh, that's pretty much the tutorial done. Uh, like I said in the last tutorial, if you've got any questions, email me, uh, contact me through YouTube, come and visit me at www.thornwebdesign.de. Please subscribe to me, it's hugely important as more people subscribe to me, uh, more tutorials I will do, um, and more in depth they are, and of higher quality. Um, otherwise, yep, yeah, uh, that's it, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.